Carlos, I, this seems really bizarre to me, to have a judge tell you what you can and can't discuss with your child. Respectfully, Brooke, I disagree because of the fact that Nick right now is, has his own problems. You know, he is, uh, you know, there's a, a case where he was allegedly drag racing and the person that was in the car with him is still in, a, in, in critical condition. So he's having to deal with, with his friend being near death. Uh, and now to hear that your parents are splitting up, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, no, no child should have to go through, you know, in, in the court documents, it says that uh, Linda was telling Nick, you know, what to say to Hulk Hogan and passing information along through Nick to Hulk and no child should be put through that. So I actually think it's a great thing that the court has stepped in and said, listen, let's keep Nick out of this. He's got enough issues to deal with right now. And I do want to move now to another story that's new right now. Get a load of this. It's an ad featuring Keith Richards. He's just been named the new face of the luxury brand Louis Vuitton. Yeah, the bad boy Rolling Stone hardcore rocker. Carlos, look at this. Is your head just spinning? Brooke, I don't see what the problem is because <laughs> I, really I don't having Keith Richards as the face of Louis Vuitton because when I think of leather, I think of the face <laughs> of Keith Richards. So what's the big deal here, people? I mean, it makes perfect sense. And also, too, you want to get a new, you want to go after a new crowd, you know, and Keith Richards is that. You know, people who are fans of the Rolling Stones, suddenly, you know, it's not so much about what they have in this bag over here. It's what they have in their pockets, and they got some cash to spend. Well, so, you yeah, know. Speaking of that cash, it, it probably costs about, you know, six grand for a piece of luggage like that. Kim, 10 seconds, would this make you buy it? Uh, not me personally, but uh, apparently one of the reasons they, they went to him is because they're trying to go after that older crowd that they <laughs> lost. A lot of younger people were getting into Louis Vuitton and they wanted to go back to their more classic, timeless, ageless customers. Yeah, like Carlos like, says, yeah. maybe they have some deeper pockets for this luxury <laughs> brand. Kim Serafin, Carlos Diaz, good to see you. Thank you both.